Hello everyone, my name is Yvonne Dixon and I am a second grade teacher from Georgia. Recently I started creating new teaching packets and I've been selling those on Teachers Pay Teachers. I also have a teaching blog called Sassy and Second and I'd like to share with you some of the packets that I've been making. It has been so much fun thinking about what do I need for my students, going into the graphics and trying to figure out what fun activities I could make, and thinking about the needs and the levels of my particular kids and just designing some different activities around that. With my tiered math tubs, uh, I basically got the idea last year, uh, last school year, when my students were working on different math activities, I kept thinking I really needed to level these activities based on what my students already know. So I came up with the idea this past summer to go ahead and start leveling my, tier, my, my tubs based on a pretest for all of my students and whatever level that they came out on on that pretest is where I would put them as far as the different activities. Teachers know that we have to differentiate for our students and basically in our schools today this is a necessity that we need to do in order to meet their needs. So this is just another way for me and to help other teachers to meet those needs. With my Winter Wonderland tiered tub, it is basically working on word problems. It's based on the Common Core Standards for grade levels K through 2. When I say it's tiered, again, that just means that it's differentiated or it's a leveled math activity. I'm going to start by just kind of telling you what is included in a math, math packet or tub, and then we can go from there and I'll explain each part. Um, with a math tub, you receive an essential question EQ poster. It's just a kid-friendly question for the focus of the skills or the tub activity. For this particular one, the essential question is how can I use pictures to help solve word problems? What I do is I show my students the essential question before I give them the pretest. So it kind of gives them an idea of what they're fixing to give, you know, show me or what they what they're fixing to do when they actually take the pretest. So I start off by reading the EQ to my students as a whole class. And then I administer, you can do this in small group or whole group, a pretest to all of the students to de to determine the tiered level <clears throat> for this particular skill. So when you look at the pretest, you can kind of see that I have it broken up. Here it is right here into three different levels, tier one, tier two, tier three. And the way all of my pretests are basically designed the same way, there are 12 different items. The first four always focus around tier one levels. And then the next four, um, numbers five through eight, tier two, and then nine through 12 are always dealing with tier three. Again, this particular tub is leveled according to kindergarten through second grade common core skill levels. So tier one would be based on common core levels for kindergarten. Tier two would be based on common core levels for first grade and tier three for second grade. Let's see exactly what that means. Within the pack I always give you an explanation of the different skill levels, a math tub focus for your common core skills. It says the activities in this packet are designed to help students represent and solve word problems involving addition and subtraction. For Tier 1, your students will be solving addition and subtraction word problems within the number 10 by drawing pictures. Tier 2, they'll be solving addition and subtraction word problems within the number 20 by drawing pictures. And Tier 3, within the number 100 by drawing pictures. When you go back up to the, let me find it, <clears throat> to, uh, to the contents, you can see that I have mentioned that we have the essential question poster. You receive a pretest with each tiered tub, and you also receive a math tub task card. This is what you would actually place in the basket or in the tub to explain to the students the instructions of what they're going to be doing once they actually start doing the activity. The pretest is given beforehand, and then you determine which activity they're going to do. This is the uh, task card for this particular activity. The students are to look at the word problems on the Winter Wonderland cards. They're going to draw pictures to help them solve the word problems in the boxes on their answer sheets, and then they're going to look for the matching snowflake summer difference tickets to check their answers. So that will be within the basket for all three different baggies. If you come on down here, you see here is the answer sheet. This will go with the task card. You'll just run one for every student. Every student has the same answer sheet. They're just going to circle whichever tier 
they are on based upon how well they did on their pretest. If a student happens to be in tier two, what they're going to do is when they get ready to sit down and do the activity, they're going to look for baggy two. And all of the cards um, in baggy two are going to be leveled according to that particular skill level. If they're in tier three, they're going to look for baggy three. But like I said, they're basically all going to have the same answer sheet. They're all taking the same pretest, and they all have the same task card in their basket. The only thing that's going to be different are going to be their actual activity cards. Here are examples of this particular tub. Here's for level for tier one. And remember I said that for tier one it's kindergarten levels for um, addition and subtraction word problems within the number 10. For example, Ben and Jim had a snowball fight. Ben made six snowballs. Jim made four. How many did they make in all? So you can kind of see that's going to be an addition problem. The students will need to go back to their answer sheet. They're going to draw pictures to illustrate that and then figure out the sum because that's going to be addition. And then they're going to look to see if they can find the matching answer snowflake ticket, which was further on down here. And if they find the match, then they know that they've, they have solved that one, and then they're ready to move on to card two. And this is, again, tier one bag. If you roll on down, there are ten cards in each baggie, and they're also color-coded, so all of tier ones are going to be blue. Then you go down to tier two. Remember I said tier two cards are dealing with addition and subtraction word problems within the number 20, which is based on first grade standards for Common Core. Carly had a bag of 20 marshmallows. She put 12 in her hot cocoa. How many were left? This is going to be a subtraction. So this particular student will need to go onto their answer sheet, illustrate how they would do a takeaway problem through some kind of a picture, see if they can find the difference, and then look for the answer ticket to match. And that's how they do that. All of the tickets and most of the cards, you'll see these are more green, for tier two are going to be color-coded to green. They keep those in a separate baggie. You have three different baggies in your tub basket. Tier three are orange. Tier three, remember I said you're dealing with addition and subtraction word problems within the number 100. You can see the difference, how it jumps up. There were 55 penguins on the ice, 20 jumped in the sea. How many were left on the ice? Once again, the student will illustrate through a drawing of some sort, probably base 10 blocks or maybe tallies, however you think they, you know, you've been working on it. Um, they would find the answer, find the matching ticket, which for tier three, they happen to be orange. And once they've completed the activity, they will turn in their answer sheet to you. And that will be a form of assessment and a way that you can show differentiation for your students within your classroom. This is just one of my different math tubs. I have several listed on my teaching store through Teacher Pay Teacher. I would love for you to go and check out my teaching site. If you'll look here on my YouTube link, you should be able to get to Teachers Pay Teacher. Just type in my name, Yvonne Dixon. And when you do, there are all of my different products right there. And there's our Winter Wonderland right there, word problems that I was just sharing with you. I have different packets. I have uh, Math and Literacy Center packets. Um, I just have several different things that I've been working on. I've really enjoyed making things for my students, and I'd love for you to look at those and check that out. I also have a blog, a teaching blog called Sassy and Second. Here I also, sometimes I just talk about the different activities that I'm doing with my kids at school, but I'll also usually, you know, give you a brief description of what new packet I've made. Here is the Winter Wonderland that we just talked about. So if you, can, you know, can't find my teaching site on Teachers Pay Teachers, or if you just prefer to go to the blog to see what's the latest going on in my classroom, you can also uh, reach my materials through, through here. Um, I would love for you to check out my different items, and if you have any questions, you can send me an email through my blog, and I hope that you will consider me for future teaching materials. Thanks so much. Bye.